was uh, there was a manatee, a goldfish, and a shark walked into a bar. And the bar, the bar hang on, I've got a, I've got a call coming in here. Oh, it's Doctor Brown. Hello, Doctor Brown. Yes, CBD. I have applied for a full-time work camper job just like you. I want to emulate your uh, amazing uh, lifestyle. You did. You finally committed to applying for a full-time professional Caesar work camper job. That's awesome. CBD, they are taking me away to a different room to talk to me. Dr. Brown, they're going to take you. But they say, yes. uh, one of them wants to talk to you. Dr. Brown, you have taken Dr. Brown. I possess a certain set of skills that have taken me a lifetime to acquire. As long as you offer Dr. Brown a campsite and hourly pay as part of his compensation package, I promise to come work for you. That's why I'm a work camper. So, do you know Jack? And what I mean by that is, Jack of all trades. As a seasonal professional work camper, you're gonna pick up a lot of skills that you never had before. Or if you have these skills to bring to the table, you're definitely at an advantage. Put them on your resume because you're gonna go far. As a seasonal professional work camper, there are certain certifications you can earn and put on your resume to prove that you do in fact know Jack. Have you earned your SOL shovel? operator's license. You can learn how to operate a backhoe. Or do you know how to operate a backhoe? Those are skills that some places are looking for. Post hole diggers. One of the cruelest tools ever invented. A tractor with forks, buckets, back end lifts, PTOs, things like that. 10 pound sledge. Because when a small hammer isn't good enough and you really want to go to bed tired at night. Can you drive a golf cart and do it safely? Remember, the stairs are generally not an option. One of my personal favorites, what we like to call the stud bar, because man, you gotta be a stud to use this thing all day. Other skills, carpentry, a little bit of electrical, how to wire outlets, even how to wire plugs at a campground post would be super handy. Gas can. Oh, work camper pro tip. Never trust a fart. Backpack blowers. Weed eaters and edgers. Chainsaws. Gotta have your BFWs. Big friendly wrenches. Diesel. Zero radius turn mowers. Let me let you in on a little secret. Are you escaping reality? What is reality? at the uh, village's camping world and I was just looking at a couple different campers and thought, oh, these are kind of cool. This thing, uh, for the size, you could definitely full-time in it. Walk-in-ish closet, washer dryer hookup, plenty of storage. So I was just looking at it for me as an idea when I wanted to get rid of the balances. This is like almost like regular like pipe. Oh, screws into the wall. Runs the balance. Still has shades behind it, but you could do something like that and cover up your uh, shades in your current RV. volt fridge you'd have to either run off your battery bank or uh, 
honestly, it's a huge pantry. This thing has a lot of storage. It's obviously set up kind of to full time in, just with the amount of storage. And uh, residential size ish fridge. I'd like to almost see somewhere to eat. You can eat at the counter, but. It's a little weird though. It's uh, I like the lighter color, but it almost seems um, cheap, I guess, the paint color in here. So I don't know. So I still hold an office job in the summer, but in the winter, because it lacks for a lot of responsibility and I kind of like a break, is some of this kind of stuff. If you're willing to learn, that's especially important. Working in the office is a great way to do things. Um, if you have some computer skills, most places will teach you what you need to know if you're willing to learn. The other thing is, it can be weird when you come in as a seasonal professional work camper because you're gonna, you may be sliding into a position where there are already people there that are there year-round and then you're coming in to fill a specific need during a specific set of time. A lot of places really like it when they have the same people come back over and over again. One is because they don't have to train you. Two, because they know you fit into their organization. And three is, um, it's just good for everybody all around because if they don't have to pay you year-round or uh, provide certain benefits that other places would if they paid you year-round, uh, it's, it's good for them and it's good for you. So it, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a symbiotic partnership. The reasons I decided to go ahead and go for full-time work camping, um, I was kind of hemming and hawing on it and I was talking with one of the, the staff at the campground who's, um, she's in retirement age, and she said to me, she's like, Dave, you know, when, when we were younger, we were gonna get our fifth wheel, and when we retired, we are gonna travel the country and do all the stuff we always wanted to do. And then she goes, now, now her husband was sick, and they just have to stay closer to home, so they full-time in the summer at the campground, but they uh, uh, don't travel in the winter. And unfortunately, uh, last summer, her husband, um, who was a good friend of mine, passed away. Uh, I guess the point with, with that conversation was, if you're able to do it earlier, get out earlier and do it. Because you just never know what's going to happen later in life. Um, you never know what's going to happen ever. You're, you, know, you never promise tomorrow. But um, work camping is something you should probably get out and try if you can't, if you think you're going to do it. Um, you know, don't, don't wish one day that, man, I wish I had done this earlier. And I, I don't know if I really wish I'd done this earlier. I've been doing it for a while. Um, with my teardrop and, and, and that kind of thing and I wasn't didn't know it was work camping back then but just be aware that once you dabble in the world of work camping um, you might you might want to do that even more so get out and try it it's like escaping the matrix or as they say on the Appalachian Trail or other long trails hike your own hike do your own thing be your own person work camping can really set you free I can't really even imagine thinking about having an apartment right now. And I've had apartments and houses and that kind of thing, rentals. And I, right now with the camper and being able to mobile, being mobile and basically going where you want, taking your house with you, perfect. So this is Caribou Dave, Jack of all trades. I do know Jack, good person. Jack of all trades as a seasonal professional work camper. Please like, subscribe, and thumbs up to my channel. And remember, do what you can where you are with whatever you have, and uh, always be willing to learn and experience new things. Thanks for watching. See you next time.